hello everyone you're welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome my name is Oti I create content on sewing tutorials and turban cap and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much I really appreciate you in today's video I'll be showing you guys on how I made this beautiful luxury bubble using Adire fabric mixed with Asho OK it is very simple to make if you have been having issues in sewing a build up collar after watching this video you'll be sewing it like a pro just make sure that you practice after watching it and thank me later so without further ado let's move right to the tutorial This is the fabric I will be using for today's tutorial. On the table, I have my Adore fabric and Ashoke as you can see. My fabric has been neatly folded into four. Please make sure that at the folded edge, you iron it first. This is very important. Iron it at the folded edge from the beginning of the fabric to the end of the fabric. Give it a good press in order for the fabric to have crease line this crease line will serve as a guide later when we are drafting the neckline i'll be measuring neck width three inches neck depth for the back one and a half inches I'll connect the neckline neck depth for the front 8 inches at that 8 inches I'm going to measure 1 inch inward then with my ruler I'm going to connect it to the neck with like so. From my center back to where I want the sleeve to be, I marked 20 inches. At that point, I measure one and a half inches for my shoulder slope. I connect from the one and a half inches to the neck width. Next, I'm going to measure 13 inches for my sleeve opening. From my shoulder to my hip line is 25 inches. At my hip line, I impute my hip measurement divided by 4 plus 3 inches. The same measurement, I impute it at the lower part. Then I connect that dotted line into a straight line. I connect that line upward to join the sleeve then I curve the sleeve like so I added half an inch at the shoulder before cutting it out that's about it for the drafting so I'm cutting on the back neckline first the shoulder slope
the sleeve opening. I measured from my shoulder to 18 inches for my pocket placing then I notch it then the pocket opening I measured 7 inches and also notch it next thing to do open the bodies like so the front and the back bodies are still together I zoom the neckline so that you guys can see it properly what I'm drafting on the neckline on the left neckline I'm going to measure two inches inward then I will notch it I'll remove the front bodies and continue with the back bodies from that two inches notch I'm going to connect it back to the neckline just like you are drafting a symmetric neckline then I will cut it out I will take the front bodies I will fold it back into two then i'm going to cut the front neck depth i zoom it because i noticed that the chalk is not visible enough on the fabric i don't know why i cross check the measurements then i cut it out like so I open up the bodies the 2 inches mark that we have from the neckline to the notch parts I'm going to mark it there at the neck depth And rule I first mark the neck depth then I mark the 2 inch and rule it then I'll connect from the 2 inch neck depth that we extend to the shoulder to the notch part of the shoulder after that I'll cut it out I'm going to mark half inch and rule that into a straight line. This will serve as a guide when we are sewing the collar to the neckline. This is important guys. I'm going to fold the fabric back into two the way it was initially. Remember that I said we should iron the edges to have a crease line. That crease line I'm going to mark it. Where you have the crease line on the fabric, just 
chuck it it is very important next thing to do i'm going to take the front and the back bodies right side facing each other then i'm going to join them at the shoulder with half an inch seam allowance From one edge of the neck depth, I'm going to measure the neckline round through to the other side. After joining the bodies together at the shoulder, you will measure the neckline. After measuring, I have 30 inches. Next thing to do is to cut the collar. I fold the ashoke like so. I added 3 inches to the measurement of the neckline. The neckline measurement is 30 inches. I marked 30 inches and I added extra 3 inches to it in order to be on a safe side. Then the height of the collar I measured 3 and a half inches. Then I cut it out. I'm going to place the bodies on the table. From the crease line that I marked earlier, I'm going to measure from that crease line to one edge. I have one inch. So I'm going to mark one and a half inches on one edge of the Ashoke. I mark one and a half inches then from that crease line I'm going to measure to the other edge I have three inches so I'm going to mark three and a half inches which is what I cut out I cut out the height of three and a half inches on the Asher OK I'm going to find the midpoint of the Asher OK after finding the midpoint of the Asher OK I'm still going to go forward by two inches meaning after you find the midpoint of the ashoke mark extra two inches away from the midpoint then at one edge where i mark 1.5 inches i'll continue marking 1.5 inches then i'll increase it gradually to two inches 2.5 inches three inches then 3.5 inches till it get to the um, 3.5 inches mark remember that the height of the ashoke is 3.5 inches so i'll connect the dotted lines after that i'll cut it out Place the collar on the neckline to the part that has one inch measurement from the crease line of the neckline that is the left hand side 
from the crease line to the part that has one inch measurement place the collar the part of the collar that has one and a half inches measurement place the collar on it make sure that it comes out with about one inch then you can pin it down you can pin the collar to the neckline down before sewing it to the neckline then i'll take to my sewing machine and sew it to the neckline any excess that i have i'm going to cut it out half an inch mark that we marked earlier on the neckline serve as a guide i started my sewing from there so the next thing to do i'm going to notch that corner i raise the ashoke up and notch it and stop at that half an inch mark as you can see i'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side raise it up that sharp corner i'm going to notch it and stop at the half an inch mark the beginning of the sewing of the collar to the neckline i'm going to notch and stop close to the sewing as you can see this is what you should have if you do it exactly the same way so the next thing to do i'm going to flip the collar to the back As you can see, even without ironing, it is laying nice and flat. You can see how it came out very nice, neat and flat. Even without ironing it yet, it is looking very nice and flat. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take to my ironing table and give it a good press. This is how the color came out. One side is 3 inches and the other side is 1 inch. After giving it a good press, I will take to my sewing machine. Then I'm going to stitch it down from one edge to the other. I'm going to stitch it down like so next thing that I'm doing I cut out square shape of ashoke I just cut it out I did not measure it then I just draw whatever I like at this stage you can decide to be creative you can create any design of your choice just be creative at this stage whatever you create when you are sewing it to the front make sure that it align it align with the sewing of the color So at this stage, I created this design, then I took to my ironing table and give it a good press. Then I place it on the front bodies, 
making sure that it aligns with the neckline like so then i stitch it down i also cut out band for the sleeve opening so i'm going to be sewing turn up for the sleeve this time around i'm going to be turning it from the right side to the wrong side of the fabric after that i'm going to sew the sides hem the lower part and show us the final look actually the emphasis of this bobo is on the neckline this is how the neckline looks like i decided to remove my wig so that you guys can see the back how it looks at the back because i realized that when i was wearing my wig the back collar wasn't showing properly so i remove it to show you guys how it looks at the back this is how the neckline looks at the back this is how it looks at the front if you have any question regarding the neckline feel free to drop it down in the comment section we've come to an end of today's tutorial guys if you find my tutorial helpful please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you've not done so i upload weekly tutorial on my channel also remember to click on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified until i come your way next please stay safe and remain blessed thanks for watching love you all bye